What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, really hard to it's it's really hard to transition fully from like not being on camera a lot and doing a lot of POV stuff and I've had quite a lot of videos I filmed and I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun and I, I like making these videos. I don't do this for a career or monetary things. So the focus behind this was that it was like therapeutic to me and then I kind of like lost my way with this channel for a bit. I've talked about kind of sort of what went on in my past, you know, Cliff Notes version. My mother got very ill with stage four cancer and a lot of things, a lot of things happened during that time. I mean, we could talk about that in other videos and, and dig into that, but I wanted to do this video now while I'm feeling this way um, as my introduction to kind of sort of what I want to do with this channel and introduce you, it's an introduction, to that idea. So um, one of the major things that I've always loved was detailing. I found it back when I had my Infiniti G35. It was my first dark colored car and it was the first time I noticed swirl marks. <laughs> and um, ever since that moment, I became obsessed with the organization and the cleaning and the tidying of it. And it was the first thing I ever spent a decent amount of money on and it was mine. I took care of it and I was very blessed to have it, very lucky to have it, and I, I enjoyed it. So I took care of my thing, my vehicle, and I think that kick started the whole detailing obsession. Uh, from that moment on, I was buying products, whether or not I needed it, whether or not I used it. I think it was just the FOMO, the fear of missing out, that I uh, started stockpiling everything. I still do. I still do it. Um, needless to say, I lost my way. A lot of things happened. A lot of crazy things and then other things not so crazy, but things happened. And um, I got away from detailing and I don't know why. And I, I felt the change happening and then I felt like I lost myself at some point. Not long ago, I've been battling something <laughs> I think when you see something traumatic or go through something traumatic, you close down, you build up walls, you, you stop the pain somehow, right? You resort to things like at the time when my mom was going through all this stuff, I started eating really bad. Like I, I ate myself into 
a really bad situation. My fault. I can't blame anybody. But it was something where it was like I ate because it was comfort, but I ate because it was the only thing I could control at the time. I watched my best friend go from the strongest person I've ever seen to somebody that had no control. She was still strong, right? But she couldn't control it. She couldn't stop it. I couldn't help. She had this look in her eyes. And I'll never forget the first time I saw it. We were in Kessler Rehab Facility. We were sitting there. It was after she had her surgery, she got paralyzed. And we were sitting there and we were sitting there eating chicken nuggets. I don't, I don't know why this is like stuck in my head. I looked at her and we were just talking. And she gave me this innocent look. She glanced up at me. And like I said, it was innocent, right? But there was so much pain and fear. I've never seen that in my mother's eyes. I've never seen fear. She put fear into my eyes. I never saw fear in her eyes. And then that was like, I guess, one of the moments where this whole process and the cancer thing became real, like real, you know? Um, it was tough, okay? Uh, like I said, we talk about that in other videos. This was supposed to just be an intro, right? Um, I feel like there's not enough talking. I feel like I made mistakes. I have regrets and I shouldn't. I have things bottled up inside that hurt. And there's days for no reason... I shouldn't. I have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, nothing to be sad about. But I could wake up in the best mood ever, and I'm so happy. And out of nowhere, I get blank. I feel blank. I feel empty. I feel like I don't have a purpose. I feel like I'm heading in no direction. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just this weird feeling like all the things that I'm excited about still exist. I've got a great job, a great family. I've got some friends, not many, but I still have some that I can truly call friends. I have so much. My kids, you know, we'll talk about this in uh, other videos. There's so many topics that I want to talk about. I really want to talk about, but my kids saved my life saved my life, saved my life, right? I was really in a bad place and my wife getting pregnant and me finding out I was gonna be a daddy and then going through the pregnancy and watching my first child get born and holding her and all of these things that happened, the overwhelming emotions gave me purpose to live and saved my life. Since that day, I never had a question about whether I wanted to be alive. But I'm still, I feel, I feel guilty that I have these sad feelings. I feel like I can't talk about it because you have to, like, I'll be the first one to say I'm a f alpha G, man, you know, but you can be both, I guess, because I bust my ass and I'm out there and I fight for my family and I'm doing everything I can to give them a good life. And I want to be strong for them, and I want to raise them right, and I want to teach them right from wrong, and I want to give them everything I don't have or didn't have, everything I couldn't have. I want them to have every opportunity available to them. I want them to grow up with love and feel loved. I want all of that, right? And I do everything I can to try to be that strong father, to try to be the best me. But I feel like, on the flip side of that, right, I I don't feel like the best me. I feel embarrassed of myself still. Um, I have I, I body dysmorphia. 
lost all that weight. I know I'm not where I want to be yet, but I know I'm healthy. I know I feel so much better. I know I'm not done, but I still judge myself. I still feel like I'm 400 pounds sometimes. I feel like I'm embarrassing to people. I feel like I embarrass myself sometimes. I feel like I, you know, one second I have all this confidence and the next second I don't have any. I have this big roller coaster of emotions and I can't control when it happens and I can't get rid of them when I want. I have to actually sit there and think myself out of the, the down and I don't understand. It's, it's tough. I'm... Like, I haven't been diagnosed with anything, but I swear to God, like, I'm, it's like depression, it's got to be, right? Like, is it? You know, is that weird to say? Is it weak to say? Can't be, right? Like, everybody's got it. It has to be. I just think nobody talks about it. But who do you talk to? Where do you go as a guy? I've got friends and family saying, hey, go see a therapist. There's nothing wrong with it. I never said there was anything wrong with it. What? My problem is, is I don't feel like talking to somebody is going to just be the end all, be all fix. I feel like there's got to be healing some other way on top of that. And I feel like one of the things, the most important thing for me is to, to try to help others, right? I feel like that's something I've always loved. I, I am definitely a giver more than a taker. I always like, I'm that guy, like, it's somebody's birthday, I give them a birthday gift. I don't like getting birthday gifts, but I love the joy of somebody opening something that I gave them. I love giving. I love watching people level up. I love helping people. That's a very big passion for me. So I feel like, what can I do? And I feel like talking. I don't shut up, right? You look at my YouTube videos. I never shut up. I post these really long YouTube videos and, you know, I talk way too much. But what are the two things that I like, right? Talking and detailing. And it's not like that hasn't been done a million times. Washing talks and clean talks and clean this and, you know, there's a million cutesy little terms and they all are fun to watch. You know, Matt from Obsessed Garage kind of got us into that realm you know he's a cool dude and he started something where you are combining things right but i want to combine two things that are very important to me and i want to do that on this channel so that whole thing that you just witnessed here we are what i want to do is talk more like this i'll have videos like this but i also want to do videos um I don't know how often I think if I'm feeling a certain type of way or if I have a certain topic I want to get done, I want to do a series where I combine detailing and mental health. I've told a couple people about my plan and I think it would be beneficial to me. And if I could help even just one person realize that you're not alone, that we're all going through it you know life is not easy we're not supposed to know everything i think we go through this thinking that you have to be perfect no one's perfect i don't care who it is they could post a million things they could have the most stuff all the stuff that you think matters doesn't it doesn't um it's nice to be financially secure it's nice to have an amazing family but this you can't control that Unless you learn yourself and talk about it, but not just talk about it. Talk about it with people who will listen and respect what you're saying. That's, that's the big problem, right? You have to have that forum, somebody to listen, somebody to lend you a shoulder and an ear. But it's hard to find that. It's hard to find that. And it's very hard for me to trust people. So doing this is a very tough it's hard to record something like this you put yourself in this position where it's like oh everybody walks around like they're so goddamn tough i do it too 
but I have my moments, and they've been happening a lot more this year, a lot more in the last couple years, and I feel like this is going to help, okay? So, very long video yet again, but I wanted to get this out there. Now, I don't have an exact <laughs> name picked out. I did, I, you know me, if you know me, I've, uh, I've had lists, I have lists. As part of my OCD is organization and list making. It's weird, right? Note taking and lists, I, I have an obsessive problem with lists. But one of the things I wrote down was just like names of like, you know, like you said, I said wash and talk. But I think I want to do a series called Therapy in the Details. And it could be like a play on words, right? Obviously, detailing is therapeutic, but there's therapy in the details. The specifics of what we're talking about is the therapy, but there's the details. That's the side thing. So like if we're doing POV videos, the plan is I want to have something maybe I can talk about while I'm cleaning, using certain products, messing around, doing certain things. Maybe I could be cleaning the interior and talk about a certain mental health topic. There's so many to talk about. There's so many different things that we could focus on, right? And then I think we can have an open forum to where we can um, take topic suggestions where it could be like a situation like that where somebody says, hey, can we talk about this? Or we can do an anonymous thing on my Instagram or through here or I have emails where you can email me anonymously if you'd like and tell me something you're going through, open up. Would you like me to talk about what you're going through and give advice or, you know, do you want to message me privately and keep it private and we talk? I just want to create a community here. You know, I want to have the fun stuff too, but I want to have a community where we talk and it's okay to talk and it's okay to open up and it's, it's not a place where you're going to get judged. Uh, it's a place of understanding that we're all messed up. And that's okay. That's okay. So um, I've recorded more than enough. Uh, I just wanted to record this now because, you know, I've had a good day today. But I don't feel right right now. I don't know why. I'm going to stop this recording in a minute. And I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to snuggle with my daughter. And then I'm going to put her to bed. And I'm going to watch Peaky Blinders. <laughs> you know, there's a million things that I'm going to do or can do. And nothing's wrong. But I'm down. I feel down. I won't feel down for the rest of the night. But for right now, this is just this temporary cloud. And I think... Doing this is going to be good for me, and it's going to be a way to record stuff. Maybe I'll get some insight into myself, and um, maybe we'll be able to communicate on a better level with each other, you know, the followers and me. I'm a very honest, open person, and I want you all to truly understand that. It's to a fault. Some people don't like it, and I know I cuss too much. And I'm flawed, and, you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm very honest, and I'm very loyal, and I'm very caring, and I will defend people that I love, and I'll be there for people that are good people, but that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by, and if you're new to the channel, you can consider subscribing. You don't have to, uh, you know, make a mental note. Come back and check it out. We'll see what the videos look like. I'm still working on audio. Got this. Trying to figure things out. This is that Sony camera that I've been trying to learn how to use. I plan on using more often. So maybe we'll get some recording done. Get some cool lens things and just have talks. We'll do this. Let's make this a thing. Let's have this part of the channel. Let's normalize not being normal. Okay? It's, it's fine. Be unique, be messed up, be who you are, embrace it, 
and let's find a way to cope with it and get through it together or not, you know, take what you want. You don't have to share. You can just watch, make fun of me. I don't care. Whatever. Just watch and see what happens. I don't know. Let me know down below if you like the idea. And let's start out. What topics do you want to talk about? What do you want to know? Are there questions that you want to know answers to? What's eating away at your soul? You have uh, something you want to comment, talk to me about? You can message me anonymously uh, on my Instagram, honestly OCD. You can email me. I'll write my uh, I'll write one of my emails below if you want to contact me, and we'll talk. But anyway, this is good. Felt good. It's probably weird. Felt weird, but it felt good. It was a good weird. Weird good. Weirdly good. Goodly weird. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you're all doing well. And let's try not to let the demons get us. Let's, let's be happy. Okay? I love you guys. We'll talk. Let's, uh, let's start focusing on this mental health thing. Like the country should be. Let's, let's start doing this. All right. Till the next one.